Hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements review and reveal. So today we're going to be talking about some differences between the current Photoshop Elements you may be using is uh, Photoshop Elements 2018 and surprise, it's October, the newly released Photoshop Elements 2019. Right around every time, around this time of the year, uh, October is about when it's released. So let me start by showing you the Photoshop elements. We'll do the about again on the left. Oops. This is the left. Is uh, the Adobe Elements Organizer 2018. Uh, let's close that out. We'll click on the right one here. We'll highlight that. And we can see that it is the Adobe Elements Organizer 2019 version 17. A lot of people asked me, they said, Jack, you know, has the versions been coinciding? And they, and they have, right? Because we had Photoshop Elements 15, and then, you know, 16, and then you went to 2018, but the version number stays consistent with the previous version numbers that we were always used to. I think they just started doing the date basically so we know when they were released. Bear with me. I do have a cold, but I was so excited to get this out. I wanted to put it out there to you. So hopefully I can talk all the way through this demonstration. Um, and this is my first time looking at the new organizer. This is only the organizer. I will do the editor in another video so that way we can keep these the length of these things down a little bit. The next thing you'll see is over here at the top is the import from files and folders cameras and card readers are in bulk okay now in the new 2019 it's exactly the same we didn't see any differences there whatsoever we do see along the top bar here we used to have e live and e live used to really um, hurt what i did because i do photoshop element tutorials and e live uh, would give you a lot of tutorials in here for free, right? So, um, but anytime you can learn from wherever you're learning is a great thing. But now that was kind of replaced, I think, by down here at the bottom, we'll talk about in a minute, but the home screen. So the home screen over here is this new little pop-up window that you get kind of, uh, you know, uh, videos that says you can try it, open the link for uh, easy movies, you can scroll across here and there's tutorials in here. So I think they did away with the eLive and they put it down into this little um, home screen button down here now. So just another way of doing things. On media, click on media here. This is the, uh, not naturally of folders, right, that we have in here. Here's media here. You can see this pictures. I just imported a few pictures in there to have something to show you. Uh, not a big deal, but... Uh, just to have something to focus on. On the 2018, we had people. And people, the menu is set up. Uh, there's names. If you uh, specify some of your people in your photos. Um, collages, families, and friends, right? Uh, and if we go to people on 2019, <clears throat> it is essentially the same. So we see the same thing here. They didn't really change any of the menuing systems either side. The next thing we'll look at is places. Places I've done some videos on. This is really nice when you take trips and you can kind of pinpoint on the map where you were. It's very interesting. And places on this one. Um, you can see it's just a little bit different. Um, see pinned. No, actually it's the same. So Unpinned, these are unpinned photos. If I hit unpinned here, we'll see we have unpinned photos over here on the left. So they are exactly the same once again. I don't see any differences in those two menuing systems. Next, we'll look at events. And events is just where you were at different times. Events here is the same. There's years. Here's all years. Here's all years. Calendar clear ratings. Everything is essentially the same in those menus. I don't see anything different whatsoever. So, so far the organizer doesn't look like it uh, received any changing whatsoever. Uh, we are going to look next under the create menu. 
Now the create menu on the 18, we can see we have slideshows, photo prints, photo book, greeting cards, photo calendar, photo collage, instant movie. We've looked at all these before in the past. See if they added anything new on the right. There's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 under create. And on the new one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they removed two. Uh, so I we'll have to figure out what two they removed. I can't keep them open both at the same time. It's focusing at different points. Uh, let's see, slideshow, collage, photo prints, slideshow, photo prints, photo book. Uh, photo book is still there. Um, greeting cards is there. Instant movie, photo story. Instant movie, video story, video collage, video collage, CD, DVD. Um, okay, CD, DVD, DVD menu, uh, I don't see that over here anymore, no, DVD menu is not there anymore, as well as, it looked like, for some reason they removed Facebook cover also out of here, so those are the two that's removed, so probably something you probably did not use anyway, but there's two less features now with the new version, sharing is email, Flickr, Twitter, um, Vimeo, YouTube, and PDF Slideshow. Share over here is, is starts at Facebook. Facebook wasn't even on. Or Facebook's not even on the new one. It looks to me like there might have been a little disconnect between uh, Photoshop and, and uh, Adobe and Facebook because they removed some features that used to be there. Email, Flickr, and Twitter. Email, Twitter, Flickr, is it uh, Vimeo and YouTube? Vimeo, YouTube, PDF slideshow. P they took out the, the uh, burn video to DVD, so you can no longer burn your videos to DVD. They probably did that honestly because of, and that's why I don't sell my uh, DVDs on you know uh, through the mail anymore. That's why my Photoshop uh, or Photo Elements courses are online at uh, jtclearning.com where you can sign up for those. They're very inexpensive right now uh, until I get this new version ready to roll out. But um, I used to sell this on DVDs, but it seems like the DVDs, and uh, honestly, look in your computer now, even the uh, the CD and DVD players are no longer included with your machines. So it's probably you know a, a sign of the times taking that out and not being able to burn it anymore um, You know, if you need to do that. So... But those are under the create and share, so we see we lost two out of here, and uh, it looks like we lost a Facebook out of here, and the uh, and the, I told you the uh, burn video to DVD, so a couple things we probably did not need anyway. I don't know what happened with them in Facebook. Hide the panel on the bottom, hide your panel, hides the panel over here, hides the panel, okay, it does the exact same thing. We got undo and rotate, we got undo, now you probably have to click this menu, no, there's no rotate anymore. Um, well, that's interesting that they took the rotate out. I'm sure they stuck that somewhere else. Let's go back to our pictures here. Uh, all people. I'll hide. 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 Oh, media. Okay. No, the rotate is there. I'm sorry. I was not on the pictures. You have to be on the pictures to see the rotate button come up. Sorry about that. Add location, add location on 2019, add event, add event on 2019. Instant fix, which we've had for a while, instant fix on 2019. The editor and the editor, just to go in the editor, and we'll look at that later. Slideshow, slideshow, and as I said, they added the new home button, which we just looked at and gives you the few uh, video tutorials that you can see there. So... Zoom and Zoom is the same, and keyword information, if you look at keyword information, again, you have um, under tags, you have keywords, people, you know, uh, place tags. If you've never used these, by all means, they are in my trainings at jtclearning.com, you can check that out. Same here, 
information tells you about the picture. You know, where it was taken at, you can give it ratings, uh, some of the information about the metadata, about your lens and stuff. And I would imagine that's the same in here. Give it a little bit more properties there. You can see the same thing created. How it was created, who it was created by. You might get more out of this one because I took this. I actually purchased this from a ride we were on in uh, in um, Kentucky. Was it not Kentucky? I'm sorry. In Tennessee uh, on the Tell the Dragon. So uh, th that was taken by a professional there. I bought that picture actually. But uh, yes, yeah, so it's the same metadata on both. Um, so, so far, I mean, the organizer itself uh, in the new Photoshop Elements 2019 looks essentially very much the same. Uh, and if you noticed, once I clicked on this picture, that term blew up there, just like this one. So it's not great. Like I said earlier, I'm sorry. There's your comparison between the two. So nothing great or re, uh, redesigned or really different um, with the new Photoshop Elements 2019 organizer. So... You know, it's something, um, there's definitely no upgrade path there. There is no reason to upgrade from Photoshop uh, 2018 or if you're on um, version 2017, was it? Let's see. Um, oops. Oh, no, no, I just launched another one. Uh, I'm 20, sorry, tw uh, Photoshop Elements 15. So if you're on 15, there's really no sense of upgrading. Uh, to you know even to from 15 to 19 as far as the organizer is concerned um, I'm just going to cancel that because I'm going to close this one oh, hopefully it went away all right so folks there you go there's my overview quickly uh, the comparison between uh, the current um, the current version 2018 and the new uh, organizer 2019 so far it is a, a zero upgrade path so uh, don't buy it because you want a new organizer you're not getting anything different all right so stay tuned i will be back uh, follow along make sure you subscribe to this channel and we will be showing you a video of the comparison with the editor um, that will probably be in a few days once i clear it from this cold and i want to play with it a little bit to find out what are the differences in that but had to show you that this is my first look as well as your first look. Remember to hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will talk to you next time here at Jack's Tech Corner. Take care. Remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye-bye for now.